mi gente, it's your girl Tori indeed with a very special guest, Dwayne Taylor, author of the book, Hello William. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> it's me, Dad. Hello and welcome to Vibe to Vibe UNTV, where the vibe is real. Um, Hello. How are you this morning? I'm good. Thank you for having me. So mm -hmm. on the cover, we see there's some words displaying there. You have burning crosses, police brutality, white supremacy, drugs, homelessness, manipulation, poverty, injustice, genocide, mm -hmm. under the umbrella. You mm -hmm. have words, love, knowledge, encouragement, strength, kindness, determination, respect. Mm -hmm. What made you choose this illustration or these words? These words are very meaningful. They're pretty deep. Well, basically, this is the world that we live in. These are the things that as a young black man, he can, he can face some of these things. And the umbrella, the, the umbrella symbolizes protection. Now I'm the father, obviously, and I'm talking to him and the words under the umbrella are words to just those words to encourage him, to teach right. him, to, 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 to install or instill that respect. So these are the things that not just black people, just you, anybody can face some right. of the negativity in the world. That's, so that's oh, basically yes. what that is trying to turn that negativity into positivity, basically. Wow, that's very encouraging. Was it an experience where you were like, dang, I should write a book about this or I need to write a book about this? I, I it's probably a little bit of both, actually. Okay. I, you know, as you, you know, I'm hoping people will get the book and they'll, they'll read it. You know, I went through some of the things that are very common. I right. went through uh, trying to negotiate with his mother that didn't work. I begged her that didn't work. I even went through the court system. Even that did not work for me. So I had to think of a way that I could still reach out to him, where I could still talk to him because I wasn't giving right. up and I'm still not giving up. So in this book, I'm, you know, basically just talking to him. Hopefully, you know, hopefully he'll be one of the readers one day so he can uh, understand some of the things that have happened and to see where I'm coming from, basically. Wow. So in this case, you have no contact with him at all at this time? None. No, none at all. But unfortunately, you know, these things happen. It's very common. Unfortunately, emotion has no logic. So whatever that person is going through emotionally, that's what's going to come out, unfortunately. Unfortunately, children get hurt sometimes. I'm, I'm not a mother, but I am an aunt. So that's mm -hmm. the closest thing. And I treat them, all my nieces and nephews, even my, my friends' kids, like they're my own, you know? Sure, sure. So, I can imagine as a parent how much that love is even greater than an aunt's love. Yes. You introduced your side of the family. Yes. How far do you go back? Like you go back I, to the, the Williams grandparents, great grandparents. Yes. Uh, I went. I went back as far as what basically what I knew, which was uh, my grandparents. Oh. Okay. So I went back. I went back to my grandparents. I shared a little bit about what they did. Um, because one, one of my, well, actually both grandparents, both my grandfather, actually all my grandparents were phenomenal. But one specifically, oh. he was a, he was uh, what they call a trailblazer. He was uh, one of the first oh, wow. black, he was the first black firefighter in Jersey City. He was president of the NAACP. So he did a lot wow. of things. So I really focused on uh, the positive things that they've all done. I've also, I also went into a little bit of their, um, basically their medical history, because he needs to know these things. He needs to know if he's prone to cancer or diabetes. Right. So I, I had to let him know, I had to share that with him. That was, that was most important, I think. Just, just wow. you know, like a brief medical history. Um, I also shared with him some of the things that, you know, I like, because he may, he may like some of those things right. or just some of, some of the habits that he has. He may develop some of these things that I have. And he might sleep know, like you. <laughs> exactly. 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 He might love sweets, might love soda, because those are things that I love. So, the, you know, some of the things that he may uh, get naturally. Just, right. just, just explain to him where it came from, basically. Right. He might even yeah. walk like you, you know. <laughs> exactly. I walk like my father, so he may walk like his, sure. Sure. In your book, you go as deep as explaining what transpired between you and William's mother. Sure. Are there that some a, yeah. things? <laughs> are there some things that you should have added? Are there things that you had to kind of keep out? How How did that process Ooh. go for you? I, well, you know, it, first of all, it's an emotional book. It was It was extremely emotional. 
So there were some things that I put in it that basically I should not. Now, the things that I took out was, thank God, my editor, she told me, you know, you can't, you can't put this here. You know, it's just, you can't. And I'm can't like, all right, I, I, I get it. I get it because the book wasn't, I wrote the book for him. And like I said, it is an emotional book and a lot of my feelings did go into it, but some of the things didn't have to be in there. Like, right. I don't have a hatred. I do not hate his mother at all. Uh, I don't even dislike it. I just dislike what she's done and what she's doing. Right. So with that, I, you know, I couldn't put some of the things that uh, I was feeling at the moment. Right. So some of those things that I took out. So it got kind of personal. You're not taking away her character, who she is. No. Um, no. You know, I, I believe no. maybe you're more likely just putting light on the situation and what occurred mm -hmm. and that you are there and you are here today trying to be yeah. a part of his life, his everyday yes. life. I, yeah, I, I basically, in the book, I put basically everything uh, as, as much as I could summarize because she and I had a relationship off and on for 20 years. So there's no way I could put that all in the book, but I tried to, you know, take out the key things that happened, like how we met, how the relationship was, things like right. that, what went wrong, even though I still don't quite understand what went wrong, but I, I explained it the best I could right. about what went wrong. Basically, like, like we said earlier, my side of the story. Because I don't, right. I don't know what his mother's going to say. I don't. She's certainly not going to tell the truth about things that happened. So hopefully he'll get the book and he'll see. Well, he'll see my truth. They say the truth has three sides. So he'll see my side of it. Right. It's like his side, her side, and, and the, the truth. truth. Yes, right. basically. Well, this is right. my truth. Living in Black America. Describe how you kind of merge that into your story, your attempt to speak to William. Well, that's part of being a father. One of the things that, unfortunately, there are, are there's some things that most parents don't want to talk about. Some of these, some of the things you have to talk about, or they're going to learn it uh, through some means that they don't need to. So, the, I, I can only, I'm, I'm black, and I can only express myself being black. That's it. So, for me to be a father, I got to teach my son what I know. And that's basically being black in America. I love and absolutely appreciate that you said that is a fatherly duty. Yes. You know, to teach you. I, I didn't, I, it's not that I expected certain answers, but I didn't expect that answer. Mm -hmm. And it was really um, actually touching. Mm, that's part of my misunderstanding of the whole situation. I This world needs both parents. Like one parent, uh, it's, it can be done, obviously, but right. it shouldn't. It shouldn't be done. It, you know, you need that support from both parents. The village. The village. I agree. The world today, there's a lot of assumptions of deadbeats, like deadbeat yes. father. Explain how you might be miscategorized. You are miscategorized. Well, that's kind of that's kind of tough. The way that the only way that I can get around it, so to speak, is to be persistent and consistent, okay? So what I am doing is, uh, even though I, I said it in the book, but every week I try to reach out. I try to reach out to his mother to try to see him and I try to work things out basically. So what I am doing is always, always making myself available when she comes around and she wants to sit down and have the conversation. All right. So only thing I can do is basically just sit and wait because I've been, kind of placed in the position that I'm in and it's I can't I can't seem to figure out a way to get out of it or get around it right. which is which which kind of inspired me to write the book because I was it was very frustrating I'm sitting there trying to figure like how can I because you know I you know being a good father that's that's part of who I am I got I have to be a good father that is the most important job to me in this world is to be a good father and right. to not be able to to be a father to one of my children, that that's like mind blowing. I still, I'm still having right. a hard time processing it, but all I can do is sit and wait. And you know, the things that I say, when come, when the time comes, I just basically have to back it up. Right. That's all I, that's all I can really do. That's it. With that, you're also risking being called a stalker or harassment, you know, oh, at, sure. so that's why I'm sure you're very, Tasteful. I've and been there. Tell me your mm -hmm. experience, if you are allowed to talk about it. 
like the mm -hmm. court systems? How can someone like yourself or um, deal with the court system? Or is there a process? Are there specific things you would recommend? There is. I, yes, sure, sure. Well, first, I can talk about it because it's over with. It's, it's all said and done. Um, now, understand that, first of all, you got to understand wherever you are in this country, the law is different in each state. So what would apply in, in Cleveland is not going to be the same in Atlanta. Correct. So that so you gotta you gotta understand that first of all. Understand you gotta be very patient. You have to be emotionless, even though that's that's probably the most difficult part. You have right. to prepare your you have to prepare yourself. It's gonna cost money and it's gonna take some time. Nothing's gonna happen overnight, nothing's gonna happen maybe within a month. So you have to be patient. And you have to now when I say when you're in this when you're in this whole situation, you have to be very patient, period. In everything you do. You have to be very patient. You have to be very you've got to try to be understanding because it just takes that one instance, that loss of control, and and everything could go wrong. Right. That's in that's in court and out of court. So my, my advice would be know that it's going to cost you money. Know that, and as a man, you have to know that you do have rights. You have a lot of rights. Men don't understand that. So you have to, when I say be patient, you also have to take the time and do your research. It's your case. You, it's your baby. You have to do more work than a lawyer, even though lawyers are extremely expensive. You still have to do more work than that lawyer, understanding the rules, understanding the law. That is the most important because you could, okay, you could go in court and, you know, defend yourself or, you know, represent yourself, I should say. I don't recommend it because you could get, because if, if that woman or that man or whoever comes in with that lawyer, you're going to get destroyed. You're going to get destroyed. And the judge can't say, the judge is not going to help you. That's the thing. A lot of people think, okay, if they say something wrong, the judge will help. That's not true. Right. The, the, the judge, He's a the judge will party. not help. A judge he is. is a neutral party. He is. They some even find it believe this, some even find it disrespectful to them in the court if you don't come in with the lawyer. So hey, patience, number one, patience. You're gonna have to, you know, you're gonna spend some money. Um and know your know your law, know your rights. Yeah. So that is the best advice that I could give. Those are a lot of gems because you yes. you have to educate yourself, inform yes. yourself, use yes. the resources out there, be resourceful yes. as well. Um, that kind of dives into my next question. But what about mm -hmm. absent fathers? How can you encourage them to, you know what, go look for their baby, go look for their child? Absolutely. That, that you know, me personally now, you know, it, 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 it really does depend on your upbringing or your morals and your values. Let's just start there. But for me, being a father is a beautiful thing. And a lot of people shine a bad light on it. Now, in order to be a father, you, you got to have a couple of things together. You've got to be willing to do it. You have to be financially stable to do it. Now, that's, you know, that's just a personal thing. Now, you don't ha obviously, you don't have to have any of those things to become a father, but you should. Now, right. if you're absent from your, your child's life, then it could be assumed that your father was absent from your life. Now, do you really want your child to go through what you went through? Now, right. For me, I always try to, uh, I try to leave things better than the way I found them. That's me. Now, for me, I live, I, I too lived in a household where I didn't have a father. So there were two separate households now, but my father was there. He was there. Anytime I called him or I needed him, he was there. So, if you're having a situation, you know, if you're if you're absent from your child's life because of your spouse or the the other person, your partner, then you can get around that. You can get around that and still be a positive influence on your child. Um, but yeah, basically, right. you have to understand that your kid needs you, boy or girl. They need you in their lives. You now for a man, your son is going to look up to you. As a woman, your your daughter's gonna look up to you as the kind of man that she wants in her life. Right. So either way, either way, you could be a positive influence in your child's life. Even right. if it's you don't a, have a lot of money. You don't it doesn't take a lot of money. It doesn't take a lot of money. You just have to be there. 
like a lot of people think, oh, it's going to be a lot of money. No, no, that's not true. That's not true. You just have to be in your child's life. Once, right. once a week, once a day, a phone call, take them to the park, get ice cream, any of those things. Children, right. just like you said, children are very receptive. They pick up on a lot of things. So while you're having ice cream, your child is seeing something totally different. Your child right. is probably having the best day of their lives, just sitting eating ice cream. So like, get that for people who, who don't want to be in their child's lives. Get that out of your head. It's, it's not as bad as what you think. You don't have to sacrifice your life. You don't have to sacrifice everything. Right. In order to be a balanced parent. Wow. So go ahead. Get out there and do it. Just go out. Go out and do That's it. That's so it. beautifully worded. You are the one to break the cycle right now mm -hmm. with William. Mm -hmm. Or not only you, but any person in this situation or similar situations, be the one to break the cycle. Yeah, absolutely. Whether it's this situation absolutely. or a similar one. Aside from being an author, congratulations again. Hello, hello <laughs> William. It's me, Dad. <laughs> yes. I just want everybody to know maybe a fun fact, um, a brave fact, <laughs> that you are also a fireman. I am. For, I just want them to have a little bit of background of yourself. Please let me know <laughs> any fun you. facts or some things about you um, that you'd like to share. I, well, I, like I said, I'm, I'm very simple. I, I am a firefighter. I've been a firefighter now. As of, matter of fact, today's the sixth. Yesterday, yesterday was my anniversary. So I've been Yay! on the job 18 years, 18 years now. Happy anniversary. Thank you, thank you. Um, I am a woodworker. I like to build um, furniture. Oh That's, yeah, I heard uh, about something that. I like to do. I did. Um, yeah, yeah. Love football, love sports. Um, that's basically, I'm very simple. Very so simple. you sound like a cool dad to me. You know, you built uh, I think so. Uh, you gotta, you gotta <laughs> ask the kids, man. I don't know. <laughs> William, your dad is cool, all right? He's yeah, he's absolutely. Cool, very, very noble. He's, I'm gonna and get him, I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him one day. I'm gonna get him, I'm gonna get him. <laughs> oh my gosh, well, thank you so much for your time and hanging out with mm -hmm. me. Oh, sure, um, absolutely. The book is currently available on Amazon. It so, is. And... Also with that website, I'm gonna try to put together a podcast just to you know have people come and talk because you have the voice out, for it oh wow thank you <laughs> when the book came out i had a few people approach me actually and say listen i'm going through the same thing and they just talk they just talk it out so i'm like wow. you know yeah i gotta i gotta do something else with this wow. because there's a lot of people out there it's not just, now i don't want people to only think this is a black issue this is not this is a, a issue for men and any any father so I, don't, I don't want scenario. i don't want people just to think it's just a black thing not at all not at all this is for anybody anybody men and women who are having problems seeing education. right right well that's what that's hopefully what it's going to turn into mm -hmm. wow well thank you so so much